Listen, I am so mad. I had this video down packed commentary wise. But let me tell you what happened. The video, the, the, the audio didn't record. Audio didn't record. So I got to sit here and do a voiceover because I was going to do the video completely over. But my girlfriend, being the MVP that she is, said just do a voiceover and just make it funny. I ain't funny. That's the problem. So now I got to sit here and ramble until we start showing stuff and then, you know, go from there. So in a minute, I, I, I'm going to start showing stuff. I'll, I'll give it a minute. So first up, we have Green Lantern issue 56. Uh, good issue. Good cover. And then I'm probably about to ramble on for the next few seconds because that's what I do. Yep, yep. That's all I read. That's everything that I read. Um, next, we have Green Lantern issue 57. So the point of this video is to show everything that I've read week to week. We got Green Lantern issue 58. You have to work with me here because, you know, I, I can barely see this video. So I know y'all can barely see it. Green Lantern issue 59. So yeah, week to week, new comic book day, new comic book day. I'm going to show everything that I read. We got Green Lantern issue 59. This is an alternate cover uh, to show you guys that I'm reading. And everything we got Green Lantern issue 60 because I said that I want all my comic books read by the end of the year, and this is Green Lantern 61. And this is you know my way of showing you guys that I am reading and not BSing on it. Uh, and I'm probably rambling on about something right here, who knows? I don't even remember what I said. That's why I said I, I just did a, such a great job the first go around, and I don't even remember what, 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 what happened. That was issue 61, if I ain't said it already. I know you lying. Hold on. Third time recording this. Uh, so we have Green Lantern Corp. 53. I am sick of recording this because it didn't record the first time. So this is round three. Um, on this one, I was talking about the uh, sticker, the Coastal Comet sticker, back when I lived in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The Coastal Comic store was my LCS, my locals. That owner, Drew, literally taught me everything I needed to know about collecting, pull boxes, uh, variants. I was I was green to collecting, and he taught me everything I needed to know. His store is actually shut down. Uh, he closed it down. So at this point, everything I do comic-related is because of him. It's because he taught me everything I needed to know. I finished my first run of Green Lantern because of him. Green Lantern Corps 54. We got it right here. What else we got? What else we got? We got Brightest Day, issue 10. Come on, man. Show the next comic. Jeez. We got Brightest Day, issue 11. And I think I have another issue 11. Yep, this is issue 11. The alternate art. Alternate art. This ain't a Pokemon card. Alternate cover. Then, bro, stop talking so much. We got Brian to stay, issue 12, Death Storm Returns. That was actually a good book. We got Brian to stay, issue 13. So this is my third time recording because it over-recorded. We have Brian to stay, issue 14. This is the alternate cover with the White Lantern Batman. But yeah, I over-recorded. I was trying to figure out why it was still going, even though the video finished. Brian to stay, issue 14, regular cover. So when I played it back, it was kind of like offset. We have Brightest Day issue 15, and by offset, by the time I finished talking about, like, let's say this one, I was already talking about another comic book, and it was like, that's not right. So everything I'm saying is just filler, because some of this stuff, I don't even remember what I was saying at the moment. We have Brightest Day issue 16, which shows how much I ramble for no reason. Because like I said, this was supposed to be a show and tell, and not really a show and tell everything but what I was supposed to do. Uh, issue 17 of Brightest Day. And for this one, I go to talk about how every issue of Brightest Day had a cover like that. But I was a poor collector. Uh, issue 18 has the same color. Uh, color. Cover. So, because I was poor, I couldn't get covers like that. Because depending on who was on the front, depending on how much it was. And here we go rambling again. Instead of just showing the comic. We have Kill All Immortals, which is a really good book. I recommend it. Um, it's a nice 
leisure read. So if you want something new, definitely pick that up. Violator issue two. This is like two weeks old, but I didn't get to read it until like last week. So it counts. It counts. Okay, I finished talking and he's still going. I don't I don't get it. Okay, pick it up, bro. Pick it up. Okay, we have Black Gooey. We have Venom War issue four. I missed the uh, first round of Venom Horse covers. So this is like my redemption and norm. I love this. It's going to be worth nothing. But I'm not even that type of collector anyway. Absolute Superman. I wanted to hate this comic because I don't read mainstream characters besides Green Lantern. But this is 10 out of 10. I freaking loved it. And I already have my order in for issue two. Then we have JSA, another moment where I just start rambling. So pretty much all I said was, if you're tired of mainstream, like, team comics, you know, like your Avengers, your X-Men, and your Justice League, JSA is a good route to go, along with Teen Titans, along with things like Thunderbolts, and just team-ups like that. And I said all that, and I'm still going. Still going. I don't even know why I'm still talking. My baby girl is starting to stir up. So if she starts crying, I'm going to have to pause it. Hopefully she can hold out another like five minutes. Because that's how long this video is. It's like ten minutes. Bro, why are you talking so much? At this point, this is just commentary of me just bashing myself. Shut up and show the next comic. Why are you looking back at it? And then you go to go back and pick it right back up. For what? For what? And this is how bad it is. I don't even remember. Oh, I started naming off the characters. Uh, you, you got Alan Scott, Jay Garrison, Jade, Obsidian, Dr. Fade. I don't know who the other three are. And I finished saying all that in the time it took for me to say whenever it is I was saying on there. Put it, put it down. Pick the next one up. Okay, we have Ranger Academy 4. I kind of rambled on this one, too, because I had somebody ask me if Ranger Academy was worth picking up. Long story short, if you are able to get all 12 issues, because it's a 12-issue series, for $20 to $25, definitely pick it up. It's a nice leisure read. But being a three ninety nine dollars comic, 12 issues, that's like almost 50 bucks. It's not worth that, honestly. The story dragged. Um, they rushed it, not dragged, but they rushed the story. Um, whatever story they were trying to tell. I mean, the story is there. It's not a bad story, but it's not a $50 story, that's for sure. So if you're able to get the trade paperbacks, if they drop any, uh, all 12 issues for $20 to $25, $30 is pushing it. As a Ranger fan, you probably would. I probably would drop 30 but I'm letting you know now as... If you're going to pick this up, get it for 20 to $25. And once again, I say all that and I am still talking. Put the comic down and move on. We have Ahsoka issue five. Um, I still love this cover. Every time I see it, I just it's just nostalgia. And I think I mentioned in the video that the cover actually plays a part in the actual story itself, in this actual issue. So, it, it's a it's a good issue. It was a really good issue. I enjoyed it. I am, I'm enjoying this Ahsoka series all together. Okay, I finished at the same time. Ultimate 6, this is the most depressingly greatest issue ever. That's not... I, depressingly is probably not even a word. But, man... You have the Hulk with the power of Iron Fist. And when I say the Hulk with the power of Iron Fist, Iron Fist's power doesn't replace the Hulk. It's still the Hulk, but he just has the power of Iron Fist. So you let that sink in. And there's a reason I call it depressing. So uh, they try to shoot the fade with this man, and that's all I'm going to say. Um, but I'm going to leave you with the cover speaks for itself. So you do with that what you will. And I can tell you now, that was the last comic. Uh, like I said, this is just going to be a weekly thing that I do to show off what I've been reading for the week from new comic book day to new comic book day. And then we'll go from there. My baby is about to start crying. So I'm going to end this really quick. Thank you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Anime. Oh, not anime and beer. Super Heavy Sam. Going to be a father. Signing out.